Hello, I'm Wyoming, and this is Dan. Hi, Dan. Hi, hi. Hi. Move, damn you! We're gonna make chicken bruschetta. So, Dan, what, what's involved here? Tell me what's involved. <laughs> Come on, let's, let's, let's go. You need a cereal bread. You need diced tomatoes, some basil, salt and pepper for seasoning. Uh, mozzarella cheese, which is in the fridge still. You can get that from your Wyoming. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, do you can, can I get a little help, please? Do you even lift, bro? No. <laughs> I could squat like 2,000. Never mind. <laughs> Typically, we don't have mushrooms in uh, bruschetta, but in this case, I'm going to deviate from the recipe a bit. What I kind of heat are we using? Medium to high. Medium to high. Yeah. Okay. You pour a little olive oil on it with a little salt and pepper. Bring out them flavors. How much is a little, Dan? It's just a pinch, a smidge. That's very vague. We're, we're sorry for being vague. So we're going to put the diced tomatoes, and we're going to mix it with some basil, some olive oil, and a little seasoning. Salt and pepper. So Wyoming, where are you from? Wyoming? My people are from there. They they found a lot of bones and whatnot in Wyoming. So once you get all those ingredients in together, you mix them up. Okay, so we have this mushroom that took about, um, that was only like five or six minutes, actually. Yes. Well, maybe more like ten. It was somewhere between five and ten minutes to brown these mushrooms. What inspired you to try chicken bruschetta? Uh, it seemed like a really simple um, recipe, and uh, all I do is eat chicken anyway. Really? Yeah. I hear you're trying to lose a lot of weight right now. I am actually. I'm in the process of losing 75 pounds, and I've lost 32 so far. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Thank you. I shake your hand, but my hands are sore and I can't even see them. How did you get through life? I don't know. Uh, a lot of people helped me out. And it's hard being the dinosaur in this day and age. Like, I can't use a smartphone. I, I can't uh, walk out in public. People have guns. It's hard. Are we still recording me cutting this <laughs> Oh, we're getting all this bread cutting footage. Ugh, it's amazing. <laughs> you should Holy ask him. shit. Do you eat humans? Um, I tried a few when I was younger and more rebellious, but I found it just kind of made the whole uh, social circle a bit more awkward. Like, when I was going to the arcade to um, play Dance Dance Revolution, like, people would all... Like, I want to play with, like, you know, I, I, it's more fun playing against people, but they, they wouldn't play if I, like, you know, had eaten some high schoolers or something. Well, I like that Fist of the North Star machine where you, like, punch the targets, but I just have to use my nose, and I'm not very good at it. But I, I like, you know, the whole, um, you're, you're already dead thing. It, <laughs> um, it's... I think it's cool. I, I haven't seen it myself. Not not the anime, but... <laughs> what are we doing, Dan? We're toasting bread. Oh, snack! I love toast! <laughs> toast is a thing around here. That's what the bear told me. Bear? Yes. Ingvar. Did, have, have you met Ingvar? Briefly, I think we saw... Okay, cool. Tell me about the toast, Dan! Well, we put the bread in the toaster, and then... Uh-huh. We, we toasted. I know. That's it. So while the toast is toasting, uh huh, uh, we're gonna preheat the oven and we're gonna set it to broil. Cool. How do we work this thing? So this is some chicken that we got, and if you don't want to like 
you know, cook your own chicken and get all the parts and everything. What I like to recommend is that you get like a full roast chicken from like your local deli or your grocery store or something, and then separate all the parts because it only costs like six or seven dollars or something. And then you separate the parts and have enough chicken for like four days. So once we're done toasting bread, we're gonna put it into a baking pan, and then we're gonna put the ingredients on top. So first, lay down the chicken. Mmm, dead birds. Aren't like. Aren't you related to birds, so isn't this like cannibalism? It's like the way that humans are all the time eating monkeys. I saw that in a movie once. Have you had monkey brains? No, that scene was gross. That scarred me for life as a child. I mean, a very small baby T-Rex, but that shit was gross. Then, you know, the guy gets crushed in the giant stone roller thing and the big streak of blood, and I was like, this is not... PG? I mean... So the oven is set on broil, so what happens next? After all the ingredient frying. So we toss the pan into the oven. Oh snap. About five minutes. Five minutes? That's mm -hmm. it? Just five minutes. Wow, that's so easy. So, so easy. Oh my god, Becky. So, how much do you think that this costs overall? So like, chicken was like uh, $5, um, bread was like $3. Tomatoes and... Uh, I guess if you're just picking up all the ingredients for the first time, it would be like, it would be under 20 bucks. But you can make a lot, right? Yes, you can eat for days. Days! Weeks! Okay, that's a lie. Have you seen it? Oh, 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 cheese. We forgot, there's, there's cheese. There's cheese also. Yes. Yeah. It's like magic. It's not actually anything like magic. I know. Who are the people you hang out with? Who do I hang out with? Mm -hmm. I hang out with bald Vietnamese guys who are trying to lose weight, named Dan. Really? Yes. Yeah. I'd like to meet this Dan. He sounds like a swell fella. He's closer than you think. Dun, dun, dun. Like a trained professional. Okay, so we're done broiling. But my whole life has been merely prelude to this wonderful moment. So we're gonna let this cool down for a little bit. Super. All right, you guys, let's see if this worked out. By the way, I'm totally eating one as well, even though I'm a dinosaur. That's totally for real, so just... Uh, the chewing is me eating one. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. So what are your overall impressions in terms of uh, preparation and the end result and all that stuff? Preparation is pretty simple and the end result is very tasty, very delicious. So it's totally worth the time and effort. Uh, on a grade of F to F, or S to F, S being highest and then A, you know. On a grade from F to F, what would you say this was overall as an experience? S plus plus. S plus plus. That's pretty high. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. That's like pairing everything that Gil threw at you and then ending it with a super and everything. It's an XSS. That, yeah. That was, a, that was a third strike joke for all of you people out there who didn't get it, who is most of you. But this goes out to my um, 14 watchers. <laughs> Thanks for watching. More food later. Bye.